I'm Nesta Matthews. I just go by Nesta on air though because it's confusing enough. I'm the assistant program director, the music director, and the midday announcer here. So a few hats. And it's 103.9 The Juice. 103.9 The Juice, yep. I mean, I, I think there's always an exception. I think if you don't love a format, you can't do it on air, but most jocks, I think there's a little bit in your personality that you can kind of, mm -hmm. you know, find things to do with anything. Mix and match. I wasn't a country music listener at all before I did country radio, and I found out being a jock on country radio was awesome because <laughs> they, you don't have to try so hard as like a rock DJ, like you don't have to be the cool kid, yeah. but at the same time, they'll totally go out and they'll drink on a, you know, and be like, oh, I'm hungover on a Tuesday, and they won't fault you for it. So, right. you know, it was kind of like you could just sort of be yourself, even if it wasn't a farmer, or it, I found that there's a lot of stereotypes you could work through. What do, you, what do you think is a good place for new people to start? Market or, or position or anything like that? Where, where do you think we should, we should go? Well, there's two totally different ways of doing it. I mean, it, and it's changed a lot in the last couple of years because it used to be in a, you paid your dues in a small market. And I still think to a point you can. I mean, in a small market's where you're going to probably get more on-air work. At the same time, with money being the way it is and the economy being the way it is, a lot of small markets have gone to a lot of voice traffic and a lot of automation just because they can't afford to get that new announcer in there. Mm -hmm. Or because a lot of new announcers aren't willing to work for the money that I was willing to work for when I came out of school. And it's not even willing. Sometimes you just can't afford to. Yeah. And I was. I was on interest relief with my student loans. When the government tells you you don't make enough money to pay back your student loans, you're officially poor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, that's where you're going to get those longer on air shifts. Mm -hmm. That's when you'll get a chance to step up and fill in for middays when, you know, their announcer is gone. Big markets, you know, you don't get those opportunities quite as often. But you do meet a lot of people, so it's, mm -hmm. it's the give and take. Mm -hmm. They've got a much bigger street team, so you can get a street team job when you're out of school. But, right. you know, it might not necessarily lead to your sweet on air show that you want. The only way to get there is, is, is to keep doing it. So, I mean, a lot of it is does come through volunteer and the internships and the things like that and how much you're willing to do in those time periods when you can work for free. Or I'm Ian McKenna, and text me right now, 78636. Why should you be a part of Kevin and Sonia's favorite thing? He's going to call one lucky winner sometime before 5 o'clock, so get texting. Hi, I'm Ian McKinnon, and I'm the afternoon drive announcer at 99.9 .9 Sun FM Kelowna. What do you think are the, the big changes that are happening right now that we should, as newbies in the industry, that we should be aware of? Embrace social media. Embrace social media. Nobody really knows quite where it's going to go or what it's going to become or how it's going to be the best way to use it. But I can say with absolute certainty that it will be a part of the future of this of, of this business because it it's, uh, it already is. Right. Um, I mean, even just a couple of years ago, like Facebook and stuff was obviously around, but it wasn't kind of a big deal to have like a Facebook page for your radio station. Now, if you don't have a Facebook page for your radio station, if you don't have a Twitter account, or at least don't have someone in the building who is savvy with that kind of stuff, then you're you're kind of left behind a little bit. Mm -hmm. What better way to connect with the person who's on the other end of the microphone, like they're in their car or at home listening to you? I mean, it's one thing for them to listen to what it is you have to say, but it's another thing for them to be able to like pop you a quick Facebook note or send you a tweet and say like, oh, this was really funny when you did this, or here's what I think about this topic. Like, it's just a whole other way to reach your audience. And the more you embrace that and the more you show an interest in it, I think, people respond to that and people will want to connect with you in return. So, mm -hmm. yeah.